if large-scale destructiveness deserves any accolades at all, it is to the Avro Lancaster that they belong. Carrying the largest bomb load of any bomber in World War II, her exploits are legendary. Although her victories were gained at considerable cost, both in losses of aircraft and air crew. Our camera gives you a good idea of what it was like to fly inside the Lancaster. By 1941, the Royal Air Force was recovering from the superhuman efforts of the Battle of Britain, and it was beginning to take the war to Germany. It was also starting to take delivery of the single most important weapon in that particular war, the four-engined Avro Lancaster bomber. The Lancaster became the most successful night bomber of the whole war. It was once described by that grand old man of British aviation, Sir George Edwards, as an aircraft designed by engineers and built by craftsmen and women for heroes to fly. An indication of that heroism is that out of 7,377 Lancasters built, nearly half of them, 3,349, were lost on operations. The markings on this aeroplane are those of a Lancaster of number 9 squadron, which flew on more than 100 operations, including the first attack on the battleship Tirpitz. 9 squadron's motto, appropriately, is per noctem volamus, we fly through the night. And the black and white on the tail fins indicates the aircraft was a flight leader. Despite the markings, this aeroplane was actually built in 1945. She was about to depart for the Far Eastern War against the Japanese when the atom bombs brought that war to an end. So she never actually saw operational service. But she is now one of only two of all those thousands of Lancasters that are still flying. The other one's based in Canada. This one is now the flagship of the RAF's Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. And the two Spitfires and the Hurricane that we saw before also belong to the Memorial Flight.